Hello everyone! In this video, I would like to talk about uh, or demonstrate how to practice scales uh, with metronome. Uh, the purpose of this assignment is not only to review the scales and chord progressions that we have learned so far, um, but also is to practice your listening skills. So let's start. Uh, first, set your metronome at tempo uh, 60. So here's my little metronome. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so the number shows 60. That's usually the tempo mark. Okay, and it says tempo and you can adjust that up or down for faster or slower speed. So let's practice at 60. This is a relatively slow speed. Okay. And then there's also should be a beat button or a time signature button. Oh, the camera's not focusing. Oh, here we go. Okay, the beat. Okay, you can set it on zero or one. Okay, which means every beat sounds the same. Okay, if you change it to, let's say two. See, the beat sounds different. Okay, one, two one two so the downbeat is a little bit louder or three three one two three okay so anyways we are going to use zero okay to demonstrate okay so i'm going to try to show you um c major okay so let's set the metronome on the side and it's keep beeping Okay, first of all, you want to listen to the beeps and find your pulse. One, 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 one. And when you're ready, you can match every note to the beep. One, 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 one. on to the next scale okay so the key uh, word is that when you practice with the metronome you want to hear back and forth between the beep and your notes make sure every note you play covers the beep they have to land exactly on the dot okay not before the beep not after the beep. So you have to uh, not only think about the fingering, uh, you also have to listen back and forth. So you should be really focused and busy. And when you practice this, don't try to look at the metronome. Don't try to look at the dot. Uh, you should rely more on listening. You can close your eyes and ride with the beeps, okay? Um, and constantly adjust back and forth. So that's the C major and you can do the same thing uh, with the other scales. And once you can do at 60, you can speed up to 80 or even faster. But for this assignment, the minimum tempo is 80. Okay, so when you record yourself, set the metronome at 80, leave it on and and record. One, 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 one. one.
four and to D. Also A major and the last one is F major for this assignment. Okay, um, just a little extra uh, for the students who are really good with the scales. Uh, you can try to challenge yourself to do the doubles. Okay, so let's go back to 60. Okay, 60 uh, uh, tempo, and then you're going to try to match every two notes to one beep. So find your pulse one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. have I the camera is in my way and I have to <laughs> adjust myself uh, but anyways so I hope uh, that's a clear demonstration um, the last part you do not have to do the double okay uh, it's just something that if you think uh, you know doing one note one beep is too easy then you can challenge yourself to do two notes for one beep Okay, so you're matching the metronome with every the other note. But for the assignment, uh, you just need to do one beep, one note. But every note should match with the metronome. Exactly. Okay. Of course, with the correct fingering. Okay. Don't sacrifice your fingering for the speed. Your grade is not going to look too good if the fingerings are incorrect. Okay, so this may require some practice, okay, but this is a good exercise for everyone, I believe. Okay, so have fun with your scales.